It's September 8th, and Toronto is celebrating Malta Day by flying the true colors of the tiny George Cross Island over City Hall. Tall of stature among the Mediterranean immigrants is Johnny Jordamain, Canada's Maltese ambassador of magic. My father's interest in magic started when he was nine years old in Malta. He watched a performance by a very imposing Maltese magician. My father was so impressed by the performance of this very imposing magician that he took up magic immediately as a hobby. Uh, he was able to get a job in the British Admiralty dockyards in Malta as a telephone technician. And it was this experience during his stay at the dockyards that I think the dream of emigrating from Malta came. Uh, it took me a whole month. Uh, I arrived here on 17th of October, 1919. He had nothing, but uh, within two days, he had found a job. He was working on a live circuit and had a very serious injury in an electrical accident. And this made him step back a little bit and ask, is this what he really wanted to be doing? Is that Johnny Gordmain? It's me. Toronto 7, Ontario? <laughs> it's me. Uh, uh, Canada's greatest magician? No, I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, this call is from Calgary, Alberta. Is that right? Just listen to this. We have to, we've all been thinking of the world's greatest and best-loved little magician artist. Hello, hello. Yes? Yeah? You know, I'm afraid. I, I don't know. Yeah, not just now. I I'm busy just now. Can I call you a little later? Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, Johnny. Observe the laws of Canada. Observe the laws of Canada. It fulfilled my duties as a Canadian.